What's happening guys? I'm Dan. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on the video. It's been a minute. We have not reviewed Arvon beer in a while. We're overdue. I've got a lot in the fridge that I just have not been able to get to. So today I made the effort. We're going to dive into some of these kettle sours that we oh so love from Arvon guys. So this one today is pineapple upside down kettle sour. So really cool thing. I think this was like part of their sour smoothie social or their smoothie social. I don't know what they called it. It was probably a sour social that they did in their tap room uh, quite a few weeks back at this point. Uh, but guys, it's really cool. This got dropped a, a while back, like I said, so I am thrilled to finally get to this and review it. So this is, again, pineapple upside down, 5% ABV, kettle sour with pineapple, graham cracker, cherry fruit slices, and lactose. So not sure if this will be up my alley, but you know what? It's Irvon. They can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with, I believe, almost anybody in the entire country for not only kettle sours, but... New England styles and other styles. I just think they can go toe to toe with just about anybody. So that's the disclaimer. There is no canned on date. It's okay. I know it's probably a good month old at this point in time. So I did roll that can around a little bit off camera. So there was quite a bit of carbonation that tried to pierce up through the top of that tab there. Let's go to a pour, man. Yeah, baby. That's smoothie all day long. Yes. Pineapple juice. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Dark orange. Darkness, dark orange. Ooh, hold on, I'm cheating. I can already smell dull pineapple juice. I'm that's just straight up. I smell tons of pineapple. Haven't even gotten to look at the beer yet, but we know it's that dark OJ, that dark pineapple juice in a glass, guys. There's nothing really to say. A little bit of head, a little bit of particulate, that fruity goodness kind of the extras, you know, it almost looks like salt around the rim. That's crazy. Um I don't know what to say. It's a kettle sour from Arvon. If you've had one of these, you understand the way it looks. You understand the way these probably taste. Let's just get to an aroma right now. Yeah. <laughs> so much pineapple. It smells exactly like those pineapple dull slices. I mean, or just you've cut up pineapple fresh and you've glazed some sugar. You've glazed a little bit of um, sweet somethings on top of it. And I can get the graham cracker crust. That makes sense. Maybe it's that salty kind of uh, doughy complex that's added into that sweetness. It just makes sense on the aroma. I don't know how else to explain it. But it's a whole lot of pineapple. If I didn't know any better, I, I might not even say anything else is in here. Um, but at the end of the day, it is mostly pineapple with, you know, cherry fruit slices, graham crackers, and lactose. So that, that pineapple is going to be the dominating factor, and it is. So let's dive in. Pineapple upside down. Let's try it. Mmm. Mmm. Yep. <laughs> it, it tastes like the label. I mean, I will say it's got a little bit higher acidity. I think that pineapple is really driving the acidity up in this beer. Um, there's a slight bit of tartness, and you could say like maybe attributed to not only a little bit of pineapple sourness and acidity, but maybe those uh, maraschino cherries, you know, a little bit of tartness from those as well. Just ever so slightly incorporated, but it is a whole lot of pineapple. Um, I, I'm not so sure that I'd get anything else. I can kind of get the graham cracker feel, but would I guess that blindly? I, that's really a toss up. I'd say maybe not. It is just pineapple for days and days and days. And it is freshly cut up pineapple. It's dull pineapple juice dumped in there. And there is a little bit more of the grittiness, a little bit of more of that salty, kind of graham cracker crust kind of thrown in there. I get little bits of that. The cherry, there could be just a fair bit of tartness from it. I, I think that's the only thing I'm really getting on that, but that could be also uh, more body and more softness from the lactose. It's hard to say. I just don't think I'd guess cherry, um, but it's a whole lot of pineapple. Is it the best Arvon sour I've ever had? No, no, because it's not it's not multi-layered. There's not too much going on here besides the overload of pineapple. Is it good? Absolutely. It's it's very good. Um, it feels heavy though. It's, there's a there's a big body to this thing. Maybe not flowing as well as maybe some of their other sours. Um, but that's me being picky. I've had just about all the Arvons in the world, guys. I mean, I, I, out of all of your YouTubers, 
I've probably smoked everybody else when it comes to Arvon. I'm sorry, it's just a fact. I've had almost all their offerings. I mean, not all of them, but a great chunk of them. So uh, you have to understand I'm, I'm a little bit overly critical because I've had hundreds of Arvon beers. I mean, legitimately. So hold on, final thoughts. It's not the softest body. I think it's I think it's lost some of its decadence. Again, I think pineapple can be a harsh fruit. I think it has higher acidity. I think it has a little bit more harshness. Is it good uh, and, and delicious? Yes, but again, I think we're splitting hairs. It's not the best sour I've had from Arvon. I just think there could be more layers and more compartments you could break, that, break down in some of their other beers. Um, but is this one a world-class kettle sour? Absolutely, I, I like to lean towards the darker fruits. This is not here today. Uh, it's just really that pineapple overload, but it is indeed what that label says, just with extra pineapple. I feel like it's it's more dominant maybe than it could be to split hair. So where do I put this beer today? Last sip. Still really good. <laughs> this feels ever so slightly more harsh than it could be. I'm gonna go with a three nine three out of five that's just where i'm sitting today guys it's been the pineapple upside down kettle sour thank you so much for being here it's been another arvon review over and out cheers